Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Samsung Kids on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Today I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S9. This is, that is my primary phone. It's been for ready for years. And let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do is swipe down from the top and then look for the icon of Samsung Kids. So sometimes you'll have to swipe along the way. And we'll look over here. Okay, so I have it here at the, the last settings uh, on the last slide of my icons on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold down Samsung Kit. So right now I I get this notification that there's a new version available. So I'm gonna start, click the start button to download the new version and let it go. So that was quick. It's setting it up and I'll see you once it's done. And once it's set up, the first thing you wanna do is put in your child's name and their birth date. And like this, you can have separate accounts for separate children. So the first thing what you need to do is click on the top, click on the three dots on the top, click on parental controls. And if you haven't set up a pin, it's gonna ask you to set up a pin. So I already set up my pin. I'm gonna enter it as one, two, three, four. And here it gives me all the, um, all the settings for this. What I could do is I could add a kid. I could put a kid's name or a kid's date of birth, add, add them or add additional kids to here. Um, I could set up daily playtime of how long I want my your, your kid to be on the app. Daily usage. It shows you how long, how often they're using it through the whole week. Um, activities will show that will show you over here what apps the kids are going on, what they're frequently using, who they're calling, and and that stuff. Now over here is it says allowed content. So right there under here is you could add certain things from your phone that you want to allow when you're inside Samsung. So when you're in the Samsung app, there's no way to uh, to go out unless you put in the pin and if you close it, you click the home button, you go straight to Samsung Kids Home. The only way to, to close it is to go up here, click close Samsung and enter your pin and then it closes it. You can't even swipe down on top when you're in the Samsung Kids um, settings, feature, whatever you want to call it. So first, right away, they give you, uh, they have a My Gallery app. Um, in this app, it gives you like, uh, uh, you could choose what pictures you want your kids to see. If your kid took a picture with the camera that's in Samsung Kids, then that picture will be available in the Samsung Kids uh, app feature. Now go back to Parental Controls. Again, you're putting your pin every time you go there and you could choose which apps you want. So click on app. And here are all the apps that I allow my kid to use on the Samsung Kids app settings. You click the plus, the plus uh, icon on top, and you could scroll down. It shows you all the apps on your phone that you can choose to allow your kids to use. Um, you can add that. So if I go over there and I want to allow them to use Amazon Music, let's say that makes more sense. I click the add button, and that's added. And I go back. And then I swipe from the side to the left to show a little uh, present box there, which is like a present to the kid that he has a new app, and the Amazon Music app is here and is available. You know, if you want to install different apps that you don't have on your phone currently, you have to go out of the Samsung Kids and install that regularly through the Play through the Play Store. And this is where in the Play Store is we install on your phone, and then you can go back into Samsung Kids and you could allow them to use this app it's contact list click the plus button and you could scroll down up and down and you could select which contacts you want your kid to allow to use in samsung uh kids feature and they can't do anything they can't go the only only thing whatever they could do is whatever apps you allow them to use they can't change the settings on the phones anything you can't even swipe down from the top you could see what icons you have here but there's nothing that's going to be uh, allow them to, to, to use anything. The only way to do it is if they know the four digit pin. And of course, emergency calls to 911. Media. You can add videos and pictures 
from within your phone, anywhere you have inside your phone, you can add that too. Same way you add contacts or apps. Music, if you have any music on your phone, you can add that music on to for your kids to listen to if you have any music on your phone. The Galaxy Store for Kids, so if you want to look to find different apps for your kids that maybe that's child appropriate that you may want them to have, so they have that button over there. When it's a child's birthday, it will pop up on the phone saying happy birthday to your child and your child's name over there. And in order to add a second child, they have to exit the uh, Samsung Kids app and go back into it and into the features and then I was able to add a second child profile into the app. So different children can have different sets of apps based on their age or whatever you would like to do. I hope this video helped you. If you have any other questions or anything, please comment below. I will definitely reply back to you and answer you to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and do everything else you do here on YouTube. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.